the Maker. Could that be? I greet you, Warden. And you, Champion. Divine Justinia. Most holy. Cassandra. Cassandra, you knew the Divine. Is this really her? I... I don't know. It is said the souls of the dead pass through the fate and sometimes linger, but we know the spirits lie. Be wary, Inquisitor. I fear the Divine is indeed dead. It is likely we face a spirit, or a demon. You think my survival impossible, yet here you stand alive in the Fade yourselves. In truth, proving my existence either way would require time we do not have. Surely you can understand our concerns, and explain what you are. I am here to help you. You do not remember what happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, Inquisitor. No, I don't. The memories you have lost were taken by the demon that serves Corypheus. It is the nightmare you forget upon waking. It feeds off memories of fear and darkness, growing fat upon the terror. The false calling that terrified the Wardens into making such grave mistakes? It's work. I would gladly avenge the insult this nightmare dealt my brethren. You will have your chance, brave Warden. This place of darkness is its lair. Corypheus seems to have a lot of demons at his disposal. How does he command so many? I know not how he commands his army of demons. His power may come from the Blight itself, but the Nightmare serves willingly. For Corypheus has brought much terror to this world. He was one of the Magisters who unleashed the first Blight upon the world, was he not? Every child's cry as the Archdemon circles. Every Dwarf's whimper in the deep roads. The Nightmare has fed well. Can you help us get out of the Fade? That is why I found you. When you entered the Fade at Heaven, the Demon took a part of you. Before you do anything else, you must recover it. These are your memories, Inquisitor. going on here. Why are you doing this? You, of all people! Run where you can! Warn them!
so, your mark did not come from Andraste. It came from the orb Corypheus used in his ritual. Corypheus intended to rip open the veil, use the anchor to enter the Fade, and throw open the doors of the Black City. Not for the old gods, but for himself. When you disrupted his plan, the orb bestowed the anchor upon you instead. Is that everything you wanted me to see? For the time being. You cannot escape the lair of the Nightmare until you regain all that it took from you. You have recovered some of yourself, but now it knows you are here. You must make haste. I will prepare the way ahead. Something troubles you, Hawk. Those were Grey Wardens holding the Divine in that vision. Their actions led to her death. I assumed he had taken their minds, as you have seen him do before. Come, we can argue after we escape this dark place. Oh, I intend to. Could that truly have been the most holy? Well, I have no idea. If it's a spirit, it's not acting like one. No demon would have been so helpful without asking something in return. And what of the demon she mentioned? This nightmare sounds dangerous. Sounds like it preys on fear, stealing people's memories. That's low, even for a demon. Memories make us what we are, a monster that takes them away. I don't want to think about that. After what it did to my fellow wardens, I pray we find some way to strike it down. Foolish little boy comes to steal the fear I kindly lifted from his shoulder. You should have thanked me and left your fear where it lay, forgotten. You think the pain will make you stronger? What fool filled your mind with such evil? The only one who grows stronger from your fears is me. But you are a guest here in my home, so by all means let me return what you have forgotten. Did you think you mattered, Hawk? Did you think anything you ever did mattered? You couldn't even save your city. How could you expect to strike down a god? 
Isabella is going to die, just like your family and everyone you ever cared about. Of course, a fear demon would know where to hurt us most. We must ignore it. Smaller fears, I would wager. Scavenging whatever the nightmare leaves behind. And they take the form of spiders. Something so many fear. Spiders? I see maggots crawling in filth. Ah, of course. The demons look different to each of us. Personalized... The nightmare is closer now. It knows you seek escape. With each moment, it grows stronger. There is not much time. Until later. Keep running! I escaped. The demon! Keep running! I thought it was Andraste sending me from the Fade, but it was the Divine behind me. And then you... she died. Yes. So this creature is simply a spirit? I think we all knew that was the case, Warden. I am sorry if I disappoint you. memory of the divine a reflection if that is the story you wish to tell it is not a bad one what we do know is that the mortal divine perished at the temple thanks to the gray wardens as i said the gray wardens responsible for that crime were under the control of corypheus we can discuss this further once we return to adamant yes adamant where the inquisition faces an army of demons raised by the wardens how dare you judge us? You tore Kirkwall apart and started the Mage Rebellion! 
to protect innocent mages, not madmen drunk on blood magic. Even without the influence of Corypheus, the Wardens go too far. They need to be checked. The Wardens are a risk. Send them away before they cause even more trouble. They might still be useful. What if Corypheus conjures another blight? You never know. I don't know what to tell you. There are a few good ones. But an awful lot of the Wardens I've known went crazy. Sweet Maker, could both of you please shut up? We can argue once we've escaped from the giant fear demon. Inquisitor. The Nightmare has found us. Form up. I'm with you. She is. She is our way out of here. Warden Stroud, how must it feel to devote your whole life to the Wardens only to watch them fall? Or worse, to know that you were responsible for their destruction? When the next blight comes, will they curse your name? With the Maker's blessing, we'll end this way. You can fight me. I am your every fear come to life. I am the veiled hand of Corypheus himself. The demon army you fear, I command. They are bound all through me. Ah, so if we banish you, we banish the demons. Thank you, every fear come to life. <laughs>
Nothing. Grow fat on your fear. Cannot stand against me.
You will die in agony! Wardens caused this. A warden must. A warden must help them rebuild. That's your job. Corypheus is mine. Stroud. Inquisitor, it has been an honor. She was right. Without the Nightmare to control them, the mages are free. And Corypheus loses his demon army. Though as far as they're all concerned, the Inquisitor broke the spell with the blessing of the Maker. Once they understand what really happened... Honestly, after all the death they've seen, perhaps it would be better to let them believe the legend. Inquisitor, the Archdemon flew off as soon as you disappeared. The Venatori Magister is unconscious but alive. Cullen thought you might wish to deal with him yourself. The surviving Wardens are in custody. What few of us there are. You have our unconditional surrender. Where is Stroud? Warden Stroud died, striking a blow against a Servant of the Blight. We will honor his sacrifice, and remember how he exemplified the ideals of the Grey Wardens, even as Corypheus and his servants tried to destroy you all from within. Inquisitor, we have no one left of any significant rank. What do we do now? You stay and do whatever you can to help. Stroud died for the ideals of the Wardens. In war, victory. And we are still at war. Do you believe the Wardens can still help? I do, Your Worship. You're still vulnerable to Corypheus, and possibly his Venatori. But there are plenty of demons that need killing. After all that, you give them yet another chance? While they do that, I'll inform the Wardens at Weishaupt what's happened. Best they not get caught off guard. Thank you, Your Worship. We will not fail you. Good luck, Inquisitor. It's been an honor. And 
Take care of Varric for me. Hawk send me one final report. He's on his way to Weishaupt. As for the Grey Wardens, they are fighting demons and Red Templars while staying clear of Vinatori. You dealt Corypheus a significant blow, Inquisitor. We owe much of that to Stroud. And to the Divine. Yes. You took an army from Corypheus, but that will matter little if Orle falls into chaos. All arrangements have been made for the ball in Halam Shiral. Let us know when you are ready to proceed. Remind me what we know about the plot against Selene. The Venatori are planning some kind of attack on the Imperial Court. Corypheus may even be fueling the conflict between the Empress and her cousin, Grand Duke Gaspard. If we warn Selene, she may prove a most valuable ally against Corypheus. I'll go as soon as I am able. Good. Cullen, Josephine, and I will discuss the best way to gain an audience with the Empress. Speak with us when you are ready. What was she like? Divine Justinia, or her soul, or the spirit that took her form. I read your report. I know it isn't clear, but... She seemed calm, serene even. And she guided us the whole way through. That does sound like her. She did ask me to tell you something, though. She said, I'm sorry. I failed you, too. Oh. I should finish this before it slips my mind. Perhaps later we might discuss the matter further. Thank you. Now this is a hall worthy of the Inquisition. Adamant's influence continues, your worship. I submit Lord Livius Erimond of Virantium, who remains loyal to Corypheus. We found him alive, offering extreme resistance, likely because the Order will ask for his head. In more colorful terms. To say nothing of justice you might personally require for what was suffered in the Fade. Many places felt the pain of Adamant. You will answer for a great deal. I recognize none of this proceeding. You have no authority to judge me. On the contrary, many officials have communicated that they will defer to the Inquisitor on this matter. Because they fear not just Corypheus, but Tevinta. Rightful ruler of every piece of ground ye trod in your pathetic life. I serve the living God. 
Bring down your blades and free me from the physical. Glory awaits me. Although willing, there is a group you have wronged more than any. Lord Livius Erimond of Arantium. The Wardens can have you. Let them take your head, if they want it. Their petty justice or yours, it matters not. Truth lies in the next world. Another of the lingering pains of Adamant, your worship. Sir Ruth is a senior warden of the Order. She was one of the many who slit the throat of another to bind a demon. She does not contest this. In fact, she surrendered to us. She requests no mercy. She wants the public justice of the Headman's Axe. You're very serious about this. Is more death the answer? There is no excuse for my actions. I murdered another of the Order. That blood marks me more than the Blight ever could. Accepting their actions while thralls of Corypheus, many treaties allow wardens any extreme if it opposes the Blight. I can't do it. I can't use the greater good to justify my crimes, as if it would create a future I could be a part of. It is wrong that this broke me. I've done worse with full sanction. I can do nothing except be an example of the cost. The Inquisition stands for faith. Our work has greater purpose. Sometimes we need a reminder. Sir Ruth, the Herald of Andraste forgives you in her name. Find peace in that. Your worship, I... I will try. 